Hey guys, CFI Airsoft here doing a support gun load up video for you guys. Um, so just watch, hopefully you like it, and just give me some feedback how's it go. Uh, so we'll start off with the gun. Um, it's an Airy Stoner uh, 96 LMG, um, Knight's Armaments license of course. Great LMG so far, compact, uh, very compact, it's about the size of a normal M4, weighs about the size of a maybe a hefty metal M4 you guys have had out there. Um, Battery, it just takes normal stick batteries, um, which kind of make it difficult carrying it. I'll get to the method for that. Uh, so, the what I have on the gun right now are sling, uh, rail mounted sling adapters, the Magpul RSA, and a Matrix 1 off e bike that happens to do the job with the quick detach mount on it. Uh, the sling is a Magpul MS3 sling. Um, I got that version because it looked like it was hefty enough, or it looked like it was giving quality strength enough to hold the LMG. And I could always go to one point on my more carbine right, normal rifles. So I got that. For, uh, for a sight, just a, uh, what is, it's just an EOTech replica 551. And a PEQ-16 with a fully functioning laser light and blue LED combo. Uh, the vertical grip that came with the gun. I didn't put the rail calibers on there because I really don't think they were necessary yet. Looking to get some segmented ones and not the full length. Um, the gun only holds 11,000 rounds though, so not the greatest, you know, box mag, as in having tons of ammo available to fire at, but it makes for a very, very quick maneuverable LMG, and when it comes to a fast hit and run, almost blitzkrieg tactics, this LMG definitely shines above the rest. M249s, maybe if you have a really big, strong guy, I mean, I'm talking probably guys that's been in special forces in the military, or a seal or something like that to carry that thing around and can run with it. Other than that, you're not going to see too many small guys like myself running LMGs probably without them setting up a little nest to camp in. Um, I'm not camping with this LMG, thus no bipod. So I'm running that thing as a lightning lightning bolt striking kind of force. So uh, right now we'll start the loadout and go from the head down. Uh, on my head here are Comtech ones. Uh, I don't know exactly the brand. They're the replicas, but they do a really good job. Noise amplification, noise cancellation after 80 decibels. Uh, push to talk down to my Motorola talk about. Uh, that's going to be probably replaced with the pucks in, but right now I'm living with that. Um, the chest rig here, Pantac uh, Active Shooter, um, a.k.a. LBT 1961A rig. Uh, very good rig. Um, you can hold six or eight M4 mags in it uh, across the uh, front here. There's four... Uh, identical pouch that can hold double M4 mags. I believe it can hold, um, you know, M14, SR25, 7.62 mags are pretty wide. AK mags do not fit in it, so don't think that'll work unless you may have the short AK tile. On the front of each pouch, there's a, a utility pouch. Three of these ones, there's the Velcro strap. I happen to have my GoPro battery or spare GoPro battery and a spare radio battery in there. Uh, this pouch here, I have a spare mag for my USB compact and a utility tool. Uh, that seems to work just fine but for that uh, each one here has you know I'll probably find something for it if needed uh, and of course I got my orbit gum in this pouch because I guess you get your mouth also it fits a Thunderbee perfectly in these pouches too so very versatile just across the front here alone then we get to the sides and each side is identical too with a hidden pouch inside here which I have my USB compact I can't pull it out because it's kind of in there but I'm not gonna be really using it that fast anyway um, has a grenade pouch for an M67 or similar baseball style grenade, so if you're using smaller grenades, yes they will fit in these things with a buckle form. You pull it tight, it's in there pretty snug. And on this, uh, there's two very large pouches, considering the other pouches, on the sides here. This one here is holding a Crossman container full of Elite Force 2.5s, 5,000 rounds. So there's 5,000 rounds on me right on my side. Yes, I know it rattles, but you know, I'm a support gunner. Stealth is not my key here speed mobility and firepower is so i don't care i want to hear them i want them to hear me coming on this side here i have a spare uh box mag for my lmg um it you know it fits just perfectly there's tight enough just tight like a virgin <laughs> so uh as we keep going down you know mesh mask like you know everything else on there revision goggles nothing really too different there uh soft sh uh, condor soft shell uh phantom soft shell and od um, have an American IR patch there and a Ghost Recon patch there. Um, you know, it's a nice jacket. Underneath that's my combat shirt. Um, once it starts getting warmer out, I'll probably shed the jacket and just wear the combat shirt. But I just wear the combat shirt just 
sometimes it's nice to have your BDUs underneath just for more uh, durability and it's, you know, an extra layer when it's cold out. It's, you know, early spring right now, it's probably going to end up still being chilly some days until about uh, end of May, mid to end of May. So for the op I'm going to here soon, probably going to be wearing something similar to that for layers wise. Um, down here we got my Emerson Combat, or Emerson Cry, uh, Generation 2 Combat Pants, uh, the replicas. Good pants, uh, knee pads probably need to get replacing here, the padding starting to get compressed in them. So I'm going to be looking for the real deal on there. Um, and on my feet I got my uh, Gore-Tex line boots. Uh, great boots, you know, if I can go through the creek just fine with them. Um, and on my hands here I got my Folkly uh, gloves. Great gloves, uh, probably going to end up finding some kind of tack system for them because the tack bubble fell off on them, it just fell. But um, great, great gloves. The hard knuckle prevents, you know, knuckle shots, which I've had a few of those hurt. Um, you know, neoprene padding along on the thumb and everything on the knuckle. There's, there's padding on every kind of knuckle, so if you do get hit, it won't be nearly as bad. Um, on my back, it's just like a standard condor backpack. Um, what I'm carrying in there, I'm not going to be carrying a lot, because I don't need to be carrying, you know, three days worth of supplies or extra. All it is going to be extra ammo, extra gas, extra batteries. That's it. Maybe a first aid kit, like a small one, just to have in there, you know, in case someone scraped something, I have some band-aids, and they can go patch up their little bitchy wound. Just kidding, but in all seriousness, you should have some guy on your squad team should have at least some kind of first aid, minor first aid kit to cover those things so you don't have to remove yourself from play. Neosporin, something maybe to cleanse the wound and then put a bandage over it. And I also keep a pressure wrap on me just in case, because at the last stop we went to, some kid had rolling his ankle real bad. Would have been a great help if I would have had it on me, to have, if I would have been close enough to him to make a uh, response as soon as uh, some of the guys actually need medical training, I had supplies for them to use. I'm not saying I'm a medic, but it's not a bad idea to have that kind of supplies on you. But they're not in there now, I'm debating that, because it's kind of, it's useless to a degree until you need it. And then, who's laughing now? So, I, I, I'm a support gunner, so I figured I'm carrying supplies for my friends. This is all my stuff here. I'm going to keep extra supplies in the backpack, um, but my, you know, my buddies need to carry extra ammo so that they have some extra mid-caps they can't fit in their rig, they can put them in there. If they have a bag of ammo they don't want to carry on them or can't, they can put it in there. Uh, extra batteries, because they're not going to be carrying large stick types normally, they can stick them in there as well. As long as it's not going to get super heavy, I can handle it. I mean, it's probably oh, only about 20 pounds of gear right now. You might think, well, that's a lot of gear. Well, that's including the gun, so... 10 pounds maybe in gear. Ammo is the main thing. So I'm going to have 11,000, 5,000, 10,000 rounds. So I'm probably carrying between 15 and 20,000 rounds on me at a time. I can easily. And then also the backpack can be easily, easily dropped. I mean, I can throw it at a base if needed. If I, I mean, if we're going to be having an area operation very close to that objective, I can drop the uh, pack there, have it a resupply point when I die or when things are calming down, I need some water. Also, key, bring water in there. You know, hydration is key. Anytime your hydration is key. It could be negative 30 out. If you're exerting yourself enough playing the game and you need water, you don't want to skip out. If, you're, if your body's calling for water, go get water. But um, that's my support gunner loadout. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I know I know how it... Some of my gear can be swapped in and out, but this is just, you know, my general lightweight uh, support gunner loadout. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And... Comment on the video, like it, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.